What's going on guys? My name is Hylor and this is your Greenskin Faction Guide for Total War Warhammer. The Greenskins are an aggressive focused faction from tooth to blade. When starting as a Greenskin faction, you can choose to play as Grimgore Ironhide, your faction leader, or Azag the Slaughterer. Grimgore is a melee expert with high leadership and has access to the unique Immortals banner. Azag is a wizard who can unlock access to the lore of death magic through obtaining the crown of sorcery. He can also unlock a wyvern mount known as Skullmuncha. On the campaign map, your starting area is known as the Badlands, with Black Crag as your capital in the province of Death Pass. Dwarves and Greenskins surround you with Scabby Eye, Red Fangs to the west, Karak Azul to the southeast, Crooked Moon to the south, and Blood Spears and Dwarves to the north. You start off at war with the Red Fangs, Dwarves, and Karak Azul. You also start with friendly relations with Scabby Eye and a non-aggression pact with the Crooked Moon. Greenskins do not have any ability to trade with other factions, limiting your reasons further for not just crushing anyone anyways. In the standard campaign, you are only allowed to conquer other Greenskins greenskin factions or dwarven holds. There are also a few different mechanics for the greenskins than the other factions. First is their fightiness meter, which you can see at the bottom left near your lord's portrait when you select an army. When the meter goes up, there will be enough to spawn a WOG. This is a new AI controlled army that is allied with your faction and will go to fight against your enemies. This new army costs you nothing to maintain, but resets your meter. If the fightiness meter gets too low, the army builds up animosity and will start infighting among themselves, causing attrition damage and your troops will slowly kill themselves off. You can make the meter go up by winning battles and raiding enemy territory by setting your army into enemy territory and putting them on the raiding stance. The greenskins along with the dwarven factions have access to the use underway stance. This stance allows your armies to travel under mountains through underground passages allowing you not to have to worry about marching all the way around. Their main source of income come from combat and raiding. They have few income buildings and the ones that they do have do not produce as much as other factions. It's totally necessary that you be constantly fighting both for a means to make money and to keep your armies from getting rest and killing themselves off. A greenskin army is built of both orcs and goblins. Goblins are faster and cheaper, but have worse leadership and lower combat stats. Orcs are better and more reliable in a fight, but cost more and move slower on the battlefield. Typically, it's best to build most of your army up with orcs and use goblins in support. Unlike other factions, the orcs have a specialized stat called Bigga and Ada, which gives that particular unit an advantage against large units. Your front line will evolve greatly as you unlock new orc melee units, but how you develop your army can vary. The greenskins don't have the best cavalry in the world, but against other orcs or the dwarves who have no cavalry at all, they can be devastatingly effective. You can always just go for a melee heavy component to hit, envelop, and destroy the enemy army. The greenskin faction may not be the best for new players since they have unique mechanics that force them to play in a certain way and it takes managing multiple factors. They are still easier to play though than the chaos faction. If you enjoyed this video, then check out the rest of my faction guides here or learn how to build a basic army in Total War Warhammer with my army composition guide. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Total War Warhammer guide content. Until next time, my name is Hylor, and I'll see you all soon.